Welcome, my name is Teresa Romer and this is Brian Chevalier and today we are going to show you exercises, full body exercises, uh, training with a partner and the reasons you should train with a partner are it's fun, it's motivating, and it's safe. Perfect. So we hope you have as much fun as we have because we love training together as a partner and um, we're going to get started probably with the largest body part that you have on your body which is on me, it's my booty, my glutes, <laughs> because it takes more energy to exercise your largest body parts. So with that said, let's get going. Let's get started. Okay, what do we want to do first? All right, first we're going to do medicine ball frontal delt raises. My yes. favorite. <laughs> and start with this guy here. Yes. I want you to hold it. How okay. much do you think this weighs? This is five pounds. Five pounds? Yep. So okay. start with a five pound ball, reasonably light. What I want you to do is I want you to squat down, feet shoulder width apart. And as you're squatting down, you're gonna have your arms straight and do a frontal delt raise incorporating your shoulders and then come back up to the resting position. So it's very important for my knees not to go over my toes? Absolutely. If your knees go over your toes, it's bad for your knees, obviously. So Perfect. when you squat, you wanna keep your weight in your heels. Now, is that myth that if a girl does a squat, her behind, her glutes get bigger? Uh, no. No, absolutely not. It has a lot to do with the weight. Perfect. So that's Perfect. why the ball's light. Perfect. Good. One, two, three. Good job. Four. And how many of these five, am I expected to do? Six, typically 20 to 30 reps. Perfect. But what if I lose count? Can I just do time set and set? Absolutely. Time, actually time sets are probably better than reps. So you don't have to focus on counting the numbers out. You can just go ahead and time your set. So perfect. Typically, exercise like this would be 30 to 45 seconds. So we'll go 10 more seconds. So in this exercise, arm. I'm hitting my glutes as well as my shoulders. Absolutely. Perfect. You're hitting quads, hamstrings, glutes, and shoulders. And set. Perfect. Hold well on. Yay. <laughs> All right, the next exercise we're going to do is going to involve a medicine ball as well. So we're going to hit our legs and our shoulders again, just a different movement. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our feet shoulder width. We're going to bring your ball straight arm up to one side, bring it to center, knee raise, and back down, just like this. Okay, we're going to perform this for 45 seconds. All right, so on this body part, on this ex particular exercise, we're hitting shoulders, waist. Yep. Absolutely, we're hitting our core too. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Um, so not only are we hitting our shoulders, but we're also hitting our core by keeping balance. So as we come up and we come down with our or up with our knee, it's hitting our core as well. Perfect. All right, so let's get started. Start off like this. Yep. We're gonna start up and to the center. Good job. And once again, how many are we doing, or are we doing a time set? We're gonna go 45 seconds. On each side. That's right. I gotta work here. <laughs> and set. And set. So we'll switch sides and do the same. Wow. Uh, I can feel that. Absolutely. Wow. So then we just turn and do the same thing. Same on the other side as well. Ready? Yes. And up and across. Wow, you can feel this. Wow, I hope you guys can feel it as much as we can feel this. Wow. Wow, that was fun. That was exciting. I can feel it already. Absolutely. So, we have another exercise. Yes, we do. So we're gonna hit reverse lunges to squat, okay? So we're gonna hit both legs. We're gonna hit a reverse lunge with the right, reverse lunge with the left, and then come to a squat position and go down and repeat it over again. Once we'll do again. this for a time set, 40 seconds. 40 seconds. Okay. Is there a particular reason why you would pick 30 seconds, 40 seconds, 45 seconds, 60 seconds? Depending on uh, your uh, ability to do so, it depends if you right. just started or if you've been training for some time. So if you're a beginner and you can't fathom being able to do something for 30 minutes, right. or 30 seconds, I'm sorry, right. um, 
you could start out doing 15 seconds. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Whatever you feel comfortable with, really. Okay. All right, so we're going to get started. Okay. Let's start with the hands on our hips. Okay. Drop the right leg back. Come back up to center. Left and squat. And right. Good. Left and squat. Now, do you have to have the hands on your hips or can you put the hands out to the front? You can have the hands out front, hands on the hips, uh, wherever you're comfortable, really. You want to keep balance, so you have to be semi comfortable to, to keep your center of gravity. Once again, when you're doing the reverse lunge, the knee should not go past. Should not go past yes. the toes. Absolutely. To protect the knees. Perfect. Good job. Last rep. And squat. And set. I can feel those too. So, works hamstrings, quads, and glutes. Great. There you go. So, now that we have our glutes out of the way, we're going to go ahead and move to abdominals. So, we've worked our legs. Uh, we want to give our larger muscle groups in our body a little bit of a chance to relax and uh, get a breather. So, next we're going to move to our abs. So, we're going to hit uh, some medicine ball side twist on the mat. Let's go ahead and take a seat. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do, be seated. We're going to make sure that our feet are off the ground. So, we're going to lift the feet. Back slightly, keep good posture in your back, nice and straight, stick the chest up. We're going to hit a side twist right to left, okay? And we'll start. Very good. This is going to be a time set not as long as our previous exercises, about 30 seconds. Perfect form. As you'll notice, as you get tired, your back's going to want to bend. You're going to lose uh, straightness in your back. You just want to fight that and keep it as straight as possible, keeping posture and keeping the legs off the ground. Perfect form. I can and feel this. Set. Very good. Wow. I can feel that. I can definitely feel that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. And we'll move on. Well, I can definitely feel that. Wow. Okay. Now this is going to get even better because Brian doesn't like to work abs as much as I do. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I have to really motivate him to do ab work because even though he's got great abs, he doesn't like to do ab work. So Thanks for calling me out. You're welcome. You're welcome. So this particular exercise is going to take both of us to do, which is why he's not going to like it that much. <laughs> so why don't you go ahead and explain. Okay. So these are medicine ball side twists with partner. So what we're going to do is basically the same thing as we did earlier. We're going to take a seat. We're going to start with the ball. I'm going to take a seat right behind her. She's going to side twist to her right. Now, do our feet stay on the floor this time? No, our feet are going to be off the ground. We're going to be leaning back. She's going to side twist to her right, and I'm going to get the ball from my left. Okay. <laughs> No, no, yeah, that's just on the ground. <laughs> wow, so that was good. I felt that. So now we're going to go into more of a partner twisting exercise, I'm assuming. Right, you're going to do medicine ball twists with partner. So, Teresa, if you can take a seat, grab the medicine ball. Okay, okay so we're going to have our legs straight and do this exercise with the partner. So, I'm going to actually sit. Back to back with her, right straight. You're going to lean back against your partner a little bit. You're going to side twist and grab the ball. And just like that. Wow, I can feel this. So you can either do this exercise or you can do a variation to where your partner is seated, facing the other way still, and I get the rest. And she's going to start with the ball, and you're going to hand it to the right side. And just like that. Very good. Wow. About 20 seconds each side. So this particular exercise gives you two different variations of how to do it. Absolutely. Yep. So you're going to do it either with a partner or I can get the rest like I got. And you can do the exercise. Because he doesn't like doing that work. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. And since we're 
still doing abs, of course, I'm going to still do the abs because he doesn't like to do the abs. Remember that. So we are going to do another partner abdominal workout. That's right. So we're going to hit a pullover, sit up, ball toss. So we're going to lie down. What Teresa's going to do, she's going to have the ball on her hands. She's going to bring the ball behind. <laughs> <laughs> wow, these abdominals are killing me. This is great. So we are going to go into another exercise for your abdominals, another partner workout for the abdominals. So why don't you lead us through this one? All right, Teresa, so what we're going to do is a pullover, sit up, medicine ball toss. We're using the medicine ball again. We're going to lie all the way down. Legs are going to be bent. Feet are going to be flat on the floor. Arms are going to be straight overhead, lying all the way down. She's going to do a straight arm pullover with the medicine ball. So go ahead and show the viewer. And we're going to do a sit up and ball toss to me. I'm going to toss it back, and then she's going to lie back down. We're going to do this for a good 30 to 40 seconds. You really want to get a burn in your stomach. And good job, Teresa. How do your abs feel? You can feel these. <laughs> wow. Very good. So we're working abdominals That's and right. shoulders. That's right. And a little bit of back too. We're hitting your lats as well. Time set. Time set. 30 to 40 seconds. Perfect. Well done. Good job. And of course, he got to rest again. <laughs> <laughs> I win. Well, now that we finished our abdominal work, I'm sure you didn't feel it as much as I did. Oh, I, I did. Oh, I bet. <laughs> so anyways, we are now going to move on to some chest and back workout exercises with a partner. Um, this particular one is one of my favorite because I get to rest now for a second. And but Brian is going to show you how to do a push-up and I'm going to be the partner that is supplying the resistance for him, which makes the push-up a little harder. That's right. So, so I guess I'll start in the push-up position. Yes, you will. So Brian's going to start off in the push-up position. Arms are a little farther than shoulder width apart. He's going to be doing his on his toes. Women can actually do it from the knees if you want to show them the knee position for a second, Brian. And show them an actual push-up with using it, you know, doing the push-up from your knees. This is a woman's push-up. For the resistance, I would actually just kind of resist him, push, push against him as he's trying to come up, which causes a little bit of resistance for him. And this is the woman's. Now we're going to go right into the men's push-up, which Brian loves to do, and I'm going to provide the resistance once again for him. So down he goes. I will supply the resistance, which causes the push-up to be a little harder. If you're not that strong, your partner can just actually stand here and just count for you so that you can get your push-ups in. But if you'd like, you can also provide the resistance to make the push-up a little harder for that person. And once again, you can do reps or you can actually do a timed set of around 20 seconds, right? That's right. How do you feel? Works. <laughs> there you go. Now we're going on to the next one. Well, now that that's done, and you feel a little pump? Yeah, absolutely. Push -ups. Great, yes. great. So now we're going to move into another exercise that you can do with your partner, which is, a, well, I guess you could call it a seated back row, but you're not seated. Right. Just rows. Yeah, standing back rows. So okay. uh, your partner's going to hold the fixed position. I'm going to grab the handles. I'm going to step back about three to four feet, one foot in front of the other, just to gain balance. Elbows tucked in and row. You want to keep your back nice and straight and your chest out. Big stretch in your upper back and back and row. You also want to see that my wrists are pretty low. They're not up here using the bicep. Down low. This is when you get to find out how much your partner trusts you. Because she can easily <laughs> take me out. <laughs> And once again, we're going to do a time set. Right. You're going to do a little bit longer duration this time, about 40 seconds. Perfect. Very good. Perfect. Thank you, Teresa. Good job. Thank you. Now, that was amazing. You feel it in your back? I do. Yay. Okay. So we're going to think of another exercise yet that we can do for the back, okay. which is still a large muscle group. And Brian is going to perform this one also. 
So, so next what we're going to do is plank rows. We're going to start in plank position. So we'll get down into our push-up position. Okay, perfect. I'm sorry. You're supposed to do... <laughs> you want me to be the one doing the planking, right? Yeah. <laughs> Stop. Yeah. So, did you feel that when you were... I sure did. Yes. Nice plump in the back. So, we're going to perform one more exercise for your back. <clears throat> and Brian will be performing this exercise. So, go ahead and explain what we're going to be doing. Okay, so next we're going to do a plank row. It's going to involve our core and our upper back. We're going to place the hands on a mat. We want to make sure our plank position is nice and straight. You're going to row up with your right arm and row up with your left. You want to make sure that your shoulder blades are going all the way up and towards your spine as far over as you can. And in that plank position, of course, you're working on your core. So our stomach muscles are in nice and tight also. You'll notice his shoulders are only shoulder width, or his hands are placed shoulder width apart. And as he brings his row up, he's actually squeezing his lats, right? That's right. Very nice. So once again, you would probably do that in a time set of about 30 seconds. I would say yes. Awesome. There you go. And now we've just finished up our back exercises. Perfect. So now that we've finished our back exercises, we're going to move into our shoulders. Okay, so Brian is going to perform this exercise also. We're going to mainly be working on your delts. Yep, absolutely. We're going to work our, yep, we're going to work our shoulders and we're going to do a upright row. So we're going to start with a band, have your partner place their foot in the dead center. You're going to walk back until the band is at the tightness that you would like it at. You're going to bring your elbows up. You want hands to be at chest height, elbows as high up as possible. And then all the way back down with good form. Exactly. Basically, your shoulder joint is like a hinge. So you want to go up, hands to chest height, and back down. And this will be timed, again, for 40 seconds. So if I want to make this easier for you, I just come forward. That's right. And if I want to make it harder, if you want to, if you want to be mean, if I want to be mean and make it really hard, then I scoot back. <laughs> and so, whether you're a beginner, whether you're intermediate, or whether you're advanced, this exercise with the proper color tubing can be for any level. So, usually red is intermediate. Right. Blue is the hardest. That's right. Yellow or green is the easiest. That's easiest. So, don't forget to check these out at your local sporting authority or right. anywhere that sells sporting good equipment. Um, once again, we're trying to show that you don't have to be in a gym to work out. You can use rubber tubing, you can use your own body weight to achieve great workouts. Get so creative. we're going to move on to our next shoulder exercise. Yeah. So our next exercise for the shoulders is going to hit numerous parts of your shoulders, like pretty much all three heads that you right. have in your shoulders. Because we're going to do a over the head shoulder press and then we're going to go right into side lateral raises, which helps give you that nice look that Brian has on his arm. <laughs> so a lot of people like nice looking arms, whether you're a man or whether you're a woman. So we're going to go right into two different exercises here. So you're going to take that rubber tubing and you're going to stick both feet on it. Dead center. We're going to get about shoulder width with the feet. Well, depending on how tough you want right. it to be. That's he wants point. his tougher because he's stronger. I'm going to get mine closer together because I might be weaker. <laughs> <laughs> or I want to cheat. Anyways, so from this position, then we're going to go into a 90 degree angle with our arms. Okay, you're going to press vertically overhead, bring your hands together up top, and then back down to 90. Try not to dip your arms past 90 because it could pull your rotator cuffs and cause a tear. You want to be safe while you're lifting. Once again, you're going to do a time set. We love time sets so that we don't have to think about counting. That's right. Do a time set of 15 to 30 seconds. And then drop back down to a lateral raise. I'm going to turn to the side so they can see me. You can face them if you'd like. And so your footing is the same as the military press. Wider is going to be harder. More narrow with the, your feet is going to be a little bit easier. So I'm going to keep mine wide and creases are narrow. Then you're going to do a lateral raise. <clears throat> okay. We're going to bring that hands directly outside from the body and back down. 15 seconds again. Mm. 
Wow, do you feel this? I do. This is nice. It's gonna give you that nice round muscle belly in your shoulders that everyone wants. Perfect, perfect. Very good. So, we've got one more shoulder exercise to go. This one's a fun one, because if you have any aggravation in your life whatsoever, you can take it out on the ball, as long as you don't hurt your partner. <laughs> so, we call it the stress reliever. <laughs> but this is gonna involve throwing a weighted medicine ball, depending on the weight that you want it to be. Right. Could be five pounds, seven pounds, 10 pounds. Depends on how strong you are. So why don't you go ahead and explain what we're going to be doing with it. Okay, so first we're going to get in a slightly squatted position with our legs, just to engage all our leg muscles. Um, Teresa's going to bring the ball to her chest and press out. Using her chest muscles, I'm going to catch, bring it back into my chest, and back out again. You go just like this. Keep that squatted position, using the muscles in your legs. Keep your core tight as well. Perform this for about 30 seconds. Those are great, great, you feel it. So that pretty much wraps up our shoulder exercises that we have decided to show you. And we're going to move on to our lower muscle groups now. That's right. So now we're gonna work into our smaller muscle groups and we're going to concentrate now on the tricep, which is the back of the arm. And that's a spot that is very, uh, not liked in a woman because you get the old flappy turkey neck gobble thing going and women hate that spot on their body. So Brian's gonna show us an exercise today that will help alleviate that or tighten that area of the arm up. Okay, so we're gonna do a bench dip. So we used a piece of furniture to kind of insinuate what you can do at your home if you weren't at a gym setting. Um, you're gonna place your hands on the edge of the bench or chair and straighten your legs. Bend your elbows down till your arms hit a 90, and come all the way back up, tightening them and contracting the triceps. All the way down, big stretch, back up. Do not pass 90, you don't want to go any lower than that. And so, okay. is it important to keep the elbows in, tucked in as tight as they can behind yes. your body? Yes, you want to keep your elbows tucked in for good form. It's better for your elbow joint as well. So you're basically just dropping your body weight and then using your muscles to push you back up. That's right. So we're just basically using your own body weight for this exercise. Once again, a time set, <clears throat> 30 seconds. Um, if that's too difficult for you, you can get back into the same similar position, except for your legs will be bent. You're gonna go down. This time my legs are assisting the dip motion and it's gonna help me out just a little bit. Then if you wanna make it even harder, same position, both legs straight out and raise one leg up. So you're basically doing a one legged. There you go. A little harder yet. So we've shown you a beginner's exercise, an intermediate exercise, and now the more advanced exercise. So, so now here we go into another exercise for that bad area that we try to work on so desperately so that we have nice looking arms like Brian's. And this is going to be a tricep kickback. Uh, various different ways you can do this exercise, but we're going to show you one with rubber tubing. So if you want to explain it, that's okay. how you do it. So I'm going to hold the dead center of the band. I'm going to scoot back until it's nice and tight. Teresa's going to bring her chest down, keeping the back straight from the tailbone all the way to the neck. She's going to raise her elbows in the back and extend the arms straight. Very good. As she goes all the way back, that's when you can track the tricep. You want to slightly hold it like she's doing. Perfect. This will be performed for 30 to 40 seconds. I can feel it. And very good. Perfect. Definitely feel the little burn going. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Now we are going to move into our very last exercise that we'll be performing for our triceps. And I get to be the lucky participant in this one. Okay, Teresa's gonna lie down. As you see, her feet are flat, legs are slightly bent. That's so we don't get a, a little bit of um, uncomfortableness. <laughs> Stop. 
So we are now moving into our very last exercise that we're going to perform for the triceps, and I'm going to be the lucky participant that gets to show you how to do it, and Brian will be the one explaining it. Okay, so Teresa's going to lie down, her legs are bent, feet are flat on the ground. She's going to hold me keep my lower back on the floor. Right, lower back's flat, from tailbone and neck. She's going to grab the medicine ball. Arms are going to be completely straight. She's going to bend only in the elbow joint. Bring it down to the forehead and then back up, contracting the triceps. Line tricep extensions with the medicine ball. She would do this for about 30 to 40 seconds. Wanting to keep the elbows in. You want to keep the elbows tucked in, that's right. If you flare them out, it's not good for your elbow joint. And we're kind of losing a lot of the productivity that we get out of the exercise. This is one of my favorite tricep exercises. This feels good, I can feel this. By now, your triceps are starting to burn because we've performed three different exercises. <laughs> and, and perfect, perfect. Good job. We are finishing off this video today with our last body part, and it's going to be our biceps. So this is one of my favorite exercises to do, and uh, Brian, why don't you go ahead and explain what we're going to be doing here. Okay, so the partners are going to face each other. We're going to have our arms straight, squat down so the ball touches. As you're standing up, you're going to hammer curl or bring your arms up into the bent position, contracting your biceps. Squat back down so the ball touches, and again. Perfect. So we're having nice fluid motion. So we're actually hitting lots of body parts here. That's right. Legs and biceps. But, but biceps. That's right. Quads, hamstrings. Very productive. Time set. Time set. Thirty to forty seconds. Very good. It. Thank you. So. Here we go into another bicep exercise. This one is another one of my favorites. For some reason, you can tell I like to work biceps. This one is my favorite because it's called 21. So Brian, why don't you tell us why we're calling them 21? We hit 21 reps. We're gonna hit seven reps in the up top position, all the way down halfway, and back all the way up. Seven reps top, seven reps bottom, and seven reps full. So we're gonna get started. I'm going to place two feet in my tubing. Teresa's is going to do one. I want mine a little bit uh, stronger, whereas hers is a little bit easier. I get to show off. Okay, so we're going to start up top, all the way up, halfway down. Seven reps. Two, three, four, good. Five, six, seven, all the way down, halfway up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and fold. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Once again, are we doing a time set or are we doing counting? We're counting this time. You can do this with a time set, but uh, with 21s, we're going for 21 reps. There you go. Feel the burn. Now we're gonna go into our last bicep exercise. I'm going to show the more beginner intermittent, intermediate stop. <laughs> So we are now going to go into our last exercise that we're going to be doing for our biceps. I am going to be showing you the beginner or intermediate way to do it. Brian, of course, much stronger, is going to show you the more advanced way to do it. Go ahead, Brian. Okay, so I'm going to double up. I'm going to place both of my handles in my one hand. We'll start with my right, place my foot in the dead center of the, uh, the band, whereas Teresa has her foot on the center of the band, but only one handle in her right, or in her uh, right hand, excuse me. And her left hand is just going to be rested. So I'm going to turn so you can get a better profile. You're going to curl all the way up, full contraction in the bicep, and then back down. You're going to perform this for about 30 to 40 seconds. Oh, nice. It's the final burnout. That's right. Got it in strong. And then if you want to add a little deviation to it, you can cross it over to your opposing shoulder. That's right. A little hammer action, bringing it across. Or straight up into more of a hammer curl. Hammer meaning having your hand look as if it has a hammer in it. That's right. 
and burning it out. Mine are burnt out. <laughs> So there you go. We've taken this past hour to show you an entire all over body workout that you can do with your partner. Partner could be a workout partner, your live in partner, your married partner, your business partner. It doesn't matter. Partner's partner. You just need someone to do the exercises with because that's what makes it so fun and motivating, exciting, right? and makes you want to stick with it. So, with that being said, we've enjoyed our time with you. I hope you've enjoyed your time with us. And we are here to say farewell, so long, reach your goals, don't give up, reach for the stars. <clears throat> so there you have it. You've just spent an hour with us going through an all entire body workout. Brian and I wish you the best of luck training with your partner. Partners can be anything from your live-in partner, your workout partner, your business partner. Doesn't matter, just find a partner, right? That's right. Why do you suggest partner training? It's safe, it's fun, and it's effective. And it's very motivating, because you have fun. We've had fun, we, we hope we've shown you how much fun you can have together. So with that being said, we wish you the best of luck, and uh, train hard, and eat right. <laughs>